Well, in fact, we actually have a resolution that we put forward right now that's before the United Nations Security Council that does call for an immediate ceasefire tied to the release of hostages. Well, in fact, we actually have a resolution that we put forward right now that's before the United Nations Security Council that does call for an immediate ceasefire tied to the release of hostages. And we uh, hope very much that countries will, uh, will support that. I think that would send a, a strong message, a strong signal. Of course, we, we stand with Israel in its right to defend itself, to make sure that October 7th never happens again. But at the same time, it's imperative that the civilians who are in harm's way and who are suffering so terribly that we focus on them, that we make them a priority, protecting the civilians, getting them humanitarian assistance. It's getting closer. I think uh, the, the gaps are, are narrowing and I think an agreement is very much possible. We worked very hard with Qatar, with Egypt uh, and with Israel to put a strong proposal on the table. We did that. Hamas wouldn't accept it. They came back with uh, other uh, requests, other, other demands. The negotiators are working on that right now.